ان اصحاب الجنه اليوم في شغل كافيون indeed the inhabitants of paradise today they are busy doing things they enjoy the messenger of allah the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam he said that a man in paradise will ask allah my lord give me permission to farm Allah said to him, haven't I given you everything that you could desire? He's going to say, of course, but I love to farm. And so Allah said, I is going to give him permission to farm. And his harvest is going to grow like the size of a mountain in an instant. Ibn Hajar, he said, this hadith is proof that the inhabitants of paradise will be able to enjoy in paradise the worldly things they did in this life. But on a whole other level, the fun things you did in this life, You'll be able to enjoy them in paradise on a whole nother level. Sheikh what they mean, he said to the point that some scholars say, the woman in paradise that wants to have a baby will be able to have a baby in paradise. There's no acts of worship in paradise. Here's your place where you pray at. There's no boredom. People don't get bored in paradise. No sleep and you don't get tired. But the hellfire also has activities. The hellfire also has activities. You can't just burn and do nothing. You have to burn and work. So, Uruhukuhu Sa'uda, we shall make them climb Sa'uda. The Prophet said that this is a mountain in the hellfire. And the people of the hellfire will be forced to climb this mountain. And when they put their foot down, it's going to burn up. And when they lift it up, they're going to get a brand new foot. When they put their hand down, it's going to burn off. When they lift it up, they'll get a brand new hand. Climb the mountain of the hellfire. It's easier to pray. It's easier to pray right now. What decision are we making? The people of the hellfire, they don't get to sleep. Allah Ta'ala said, They will not taste therein anything cool nor any drink. Ibn Abbas said, the cool thing means sleep. No sleep. And you know, the greatest thing in paradise, may Allah Ta'ala make me and you from them, is to look at the face of Allah Azza wa Jal. Faces that day shall be illuminated, bright, looking at the Lord. When the inhabitants of paradise enter paradise, the Prophet Islam told us, Allah Ta'ala will say to them, Do you want that I should give you anything else? And they shall say, our Lord, you have brightened our faces. You have entered us into paradise. And you have saved us from the hellfire. Meaning, what else could we want? We have everything we want. And then Allah Azza wa is going to remove the veil from his face. And they will have not been given anything in paradise. Greater than looking at the Lord Azza wa Jal. لِلَّذِينَ أَحْسَنُ الْحُسْنَ وَزِيَادَةً for those who do good, there is good, meaning paradise, and there's something extra looking at Allah Azza wa Jal. But that's not it. Allah Ta'ala, he said, Salamun kawlan min rabbin rahim. Salam. A statement from the Lord all merciful. Allah Ta'ala will give salam to the people. You imagine your Lord giving you salams. Receiving salam from your Lord. Having a conversation. Allah Ta'ala will talk to the people and have a conversation. They'll hear his speech. Azza wa Jal. As for the people of hellfire, they shall not see their Lord. The greatest blessing, they shall be deprived of it. But nay, they shall be from their Lord that day veiled. And not only that, the inhabitants of the hellfire, may Allah save us from the hellfire. When they're in the hellfire, they're going to call out to Malik. And they will call out, Oh Malik, call upon your Lord to kill us. Call upon your Lord to get rid of us, to make it end, to make it stop. Qatada, he narrated from Abi Ayu, from, from, from Abdullah ibn Amr. He said that the inhabitants of the hellfire will call out to Malik, the, the guardian of the hellfire. And he is going to ignore them for 40 years. He's going to ignore their cries for 40 years as they cry out to him. And then after 40 years, he's going to respond, Indeed, you're going to stay. 
after 40 years, one answer. Indeed, you are going to remain right here. And then they're going to decide to call upon their Lord directly without an intercession. All that they was asked to do in this life. Then they're going to call upon the, our Lord, Rabbana akhrijna minha fa in urdna fa inna dhalimun. Oh, our Lord, remove us from here. And if we return to sin, then we are indeed wrongdoers. Ibn Kathir said Allah Ta'ala is going to ignore them for the extent of the dunya times two. As long as this world existed times two, he's not going to respond to them. And then when he responds, call her, ikhsa'u fiha wa la tukallimun. Remain therein despised and don't speak. This is a command that will cause them not to speak. This is not a request. He's going to tell them not to speak. Abdullah ibn Amr, he said, I swear by Allah, the inhabitants of the hellfire will not utter a single word after that day. They're only going to exhale and inhale like a donkey does. They will not be able to talk after this. Ibn Abi Dunya, he narrated from Wahab Ibn Munabih. He said, as for the inhabitants of the hellfire, those people who, that's their permanent residence. He said, they have no break, no sleep, no death. They walk on fire. They sit on fire. They drink from pus. They eat from the tree of Zakum. Their bears are fire. Their crooks are fire. Their garments are fire. And their faces are covered with fire. It don't sound like a hard choice to me. How does it sound to you? What are you going to decide? What's the choice we're making? You know the messenger of Allah, sallallahu alaihi wasallam. He said, wa ila wa ma dhalik. Pay attention to what he said. He said that the life expectancy of my ummah, meaning everyone alive from the time he became a prophet to Yom Kiyama, is between sixty and seventy years old, and only a small number of people go beyond that. The average life expectancy is between 60 and 70. That means that if you're 30 years old, you're middle-aged, brother. If you're 30 years old, you're middle-aged, sister. You're older than you think you are. How much time do you have left? How much time do you have left? The, your place of residence, whether it be paradise or hellfire, how long are you going to be there? Khalidin fiha abada for eternity. And maybe we have a difficulty making that decision because we can't picture what does eternity mean. Ibn al Josie, he drew a picture for you. He said, imagine if Allah Ta'ala filled up the seven heavens with mustard seeds, crammed tight, and the entire earth, every inch of the earth with mustard seeds. And then he made one bird, and he told that bird, go pick up one mustard seed. And then a million years later, Go pick up another mustard seed. And then a million years later, go pick up one more mustard seed. How long would it take him to get all those seeds? Forever is longer than that. Make the decision. You may live to be 70, 80 years old. Divide that by forever. It's a simple answer. Obey your Lord, go to paradise. Disobey your Lord, go to the hellfire. 